everyone, welcome back to Bedtime Stories and today we're going to be reading a book called Bunny Loves to Write by Peter Bentley, Emma Foster and Deborah Malman. So I hope you're all snuggled up in bed and if you are, let's get started. Bunny Loves to Write One day, Buster was going out to play. Always carrying a book, chuckled Mum. What is it this time, Buster? An adventure? A ghost story? It's not a story book, smiled Buster. It's a notebook. My teacher wants everyone in the class to make up a story. That sounds fun, said Mum. What will you write? I don't know, said Buster. I can't think of anything. Oh, you'll soon have lots of ideas, said Mum. But write them down at once or you'll forget them. Buster started walking to the park. He soon met his friend Francine. Mum packed us a picnic, she said. Lend me a paw with this heavy basket. A picnic? It feels more like treasure, grunted Buster. Then he took out his notebook. I've just had my first idea. My story could be about treasure. They carried on towards the park, but soon Francine stopped. I'm sure I just saw Max, she said. Me too, puzzled Buster. But he seems to have disappeared. As if by magic, smiled Francine. Magic, eh? said Buster. Maybe someone could do magic in my story, like a wizard. Suddenly... Boo! Max jumped out from behind a bush. Eek! You gave me a fright, laughed Francine. And you've given me another idea, said Buster. Something scary. There could be spooky ghosts in my story. The three friends started crossing a stream near their friend Sam's house when... Splash! Phew! grinned Buster. At least my notebook didn't get wet. And I've just had another idea. One of the characters could live in water. Like a mermaid. Buster's sister. Hi everyone, she said. Hey Buster, what are you writing? I'm writing a story, said Buster. I've had lots of ideas and now I'm making them into a proper adventure. Cool, said Bella. Can we hear it? Okay, said Buster, but it isn't finished yet. Buster opened up his notebook and began to read. Once upon a time, there were a brother and a sister named Gus and Ella. That's you and me. Right. They lived in a village next to a friendly wizard. A wizard? I love stories about magic. The wizard let the children play in his haunted castle. Ooh, ghosts. Great. One day, Gus and Ella found a chest in the attic. It was so heavy, like my picnic basket. They opened the lid. The chest was full of gold. Thank you, said the wizard. You found the lost treasure of Meowlin. But the very next night, the treasure vanished. Where had it gone? In the castle moat lived a frog named Freya. Nice one. Freya said aliens from Mars stole the treasure. Aliens are cool. 
So the wizard waved his wand and they all flew to Mars by magic. That's as far as I got, sighed Buster. I told you it wasn't finished. We'll finish it for you, cried Sam. Cool, said Buster. You can all write a bit each. Everyone took it in turns, writing in Buster's notebook. OK, he said when they had finished. Here's the rest of the story. The wizard tricked the aliens and took back the chest. That's my bit. Everyone snuck into a rocket and escaped. Sorry, I can't spell spaceship. That doesn't matter, it's a great idea. But the aliens followed them and caught them. I wrote that. Then a ghost scared the aliens away for good. I wanted to get a ghost in. Gus, Ella, Freya and the wizard all lived happily ever after. The end. Brilliant. Thanks everyone. There's just one last thing to add. Hooray, said Francine. But the story isn't quite finished. Isn't it, said Buster. What happened next? Easy, laughed Francine. They all eat the treasure. And that's the end of the book. So I hope you have enjoyed reading this book with me. If you have, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so that you can watch lots more bedtime stories with me. And please comment below if you have any suggestions for other bedtime story books we can read together. Thank you for watching. Good night.